What's up everybody and welcome back to another Tekka tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be going over how to make an MFE as well as a low voltage transformer which is going to be essential to powering our low voltage machine, machine so that we don't accidentally blow them up. So before we can really get the ball rolling first we're going to have to make some two times insulated gold cable. You do that by placing three gold ingots in the crafting table like so. Once you have them simply replace them in then you're going to need ten pieces of rubber which will then give you five two times gold insulated cables. You only actually need four to make the MFE. We'll be using the fifth one or the last one in order to hook up the MFE to the low voltage transformer that we're going to need so that we don't accidentally blow our machines up. So next up on our list of things to do we're going to need to make some Laptron crystals in order to make the MFE. Some of you may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, you'll simply place them in the crafting grid like so. As you can see, that gives us our energy crystal. I apologize, I thought it was a Laptron crystal. Once I have the supplies, I'll be back with you and we'll go over how to make the MFE. Alright, so we're back now and we're ready to make the MFE. Some of you may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, we'll simply place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our MFE. The MFE is real nice as opposed to the bat box. The bat box only has 40,000 uh, EU per tick or EU storage, whereas the MFE has 600,000 EU storage. Um, next, we'll be going over how to make the low voltage transformer. Once I have the materials, I'll come back with you and we'll get the ball rolling. All right, so I'm back now with the materials we're going to need to make the low voltage transformer. Some of you may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, we'll simply place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our low voltage transformer. I'm going to quickly run over here, make some adjustments to my machines, and I will show you guys how to hook up the MFE along with the low voltage transformer so that we can power our low voltage machines without accidentally blowing them up. Alright, so I'm back now. We're ready to hook our MFE up. Um, first and foremost, you're going to want to make sure that you don't cross any of the wires during this or it could cause the machine to blow up. We're going to place it there like that. The MFE, just like the bat box, can take power in from all five sides and that is its out point put. Next we're going to want to set down our low voltage transformer. We're going to place it right here and you want the three to face. The um, MFE puts out more EU per tick than the bat box obviously and you're going to want to make sure that if you're ever feeding like higher voltage into something low voltage and it goes into this three prong and you need gold insulated wire coming from the MFE into the low voltage transformer because it's a higher wattage uh, you know higher volts that's coming out of it so we'll simply place that there like so once you have that you won't be able to tell how much energy is in this because this just acts as a relay pretty much downgrades the energy from the MFE into here so that it can feed the low voltage machines as you can see our MFE is slowly getting power. It's going to take quite a while to fill that thing up running off of only two solar panels but just to show that it works we'll place that there. As you can see our machine has power. Uh, we'll stick something into the recycler so that I can show that it holds a power charge. And as you can see it works. The arrow's not going down. Still holding power. This should slowly be draining. And that pretty much wraps the tutorial up. Um, you could run more wire off of the side of this to power other low voltage machines. If you guys uh, have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, I don't think I went over it as well as I could have. Leave them down in the comments section and I'll help you out as best I can. I hope I did pretty good. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Like I said, that's all I got. This has been Too Cold and I'm out. Peace.